Hello, this is Brian Resney, President of Resney Wealth Management. I'm bringing you an important update about the economy and the investment market so you can better understand what we see in the global landscape. You know, we obviously ended the first half of the year. We're a couple weeks into the uh, new quarter. And essentially what we're seeing is basically the same old, same old, which is essentially the U.S. markets are leading uh, all equity markets. Emerging markets continue to lag. We're seeing a little bit of bounce back in interest rates. What I mean by that is, you know, we had an oversold condition uh, in interest rates, and they bounced down just a little bit from their high point of around 2.75 on the 10-year, or 2.75%. So we're back down about 2.5%, uh, so we're down about a quarter of a percent or so in those rates. I firmly believe rates will probably stay somewhere in this range, give or take a quarter percent um, going forward. Ben Bernanke, of course, spoke this morning. He basically reassured that the uh, the Federal Reserve is going to watch and basically allocate money and do their bond buying or QE uh, programs as necessary, depending on what we see in the global landscape, not only with inflation, but also unemployment. Unemployment rates basically continue to stay about the same around that 7.5% range. We continue to see fairly low to moderate inflation. And we continue to see basically improvements in the overall economy, again, at a slow pace. Uh, I ultimately believe we'll probably end up higher by the end of this year, although I don't like to give predictions. But we've all already had a great start to our quarter for our clients uh, for the start of the third quarter. You know, it's interesting as we allocated more money towards equities as we went into uh, the third quarter and basically reduce some of our overall bond exposure, which we're going to continue to do as we progress through 2013. I firmly believe investors who are overweighted in, in general bonds, muni bonds, bond funds, corporate bonds, and so on, are really going to have lackluster to loss returns over the next three, five, and ten years. I firmly believe interest rates will slowly tick up a little bit, not a lot, not Jimmy Carter days. But as rates go up, bonds basically underperform, and I think we're finally at that point where, based upon what the Federal Reserve is talking about doing, or possibly may do, and with the economy slowly improving, I think rates are probably going to stay or slowly gravitate up, and again, slowly. But even slowly, it's going to hurt bond investors substantially. Again, one of the reasons why we started to reduce our allocation of some of our fixed income areas and basically reallocate a little bit more money towards the equity side of the equation. We continue to have the preference towards U.S.-based equities, of course, because emerging markets, generally speaking, have lagged quite a bit. In fact, a lot of the emerging market economies and developed economies, many are down 10, 15, 20 percent year to date, while the U.S., many of their sectors are actually up between 10 and 15 percent. So at the end of the day, relative strength basically trumps relative weakness, and so we're going to continue to be in those relatively stronger areas of the uh, world sectors, not just the stock market, not just the bond market, and not just the stock and bond market in the U.S., but we're going to look across the world in every asset category, which we firmly believe will help reduce uh, overall risk and also help increase overall return. Of course, if you're a client and you have a question about your portfolio, please give the office a call. And of course, if you're not a client and you want to become a client, call our office for a consultation. We always like taking on new clients who are nice people to do business with. Make sure you listen to my live TV show tonight, and make sure you do listen to my live radio show on Sunday, and have a safe and profitable week.